update. So we are approximately higher voice. Madison County responded to this active fire on Monday uh, to assist. Uh, we relinquished the patrol sometime Monday evening to Tuesday. Uh, we were called to respond again Tuesday uh, afternoon. Uh, at this point in time, we had multiple counties involved, actively involved. We're thankful for those partners as well as state agencies such as DOF, BDM is also on site. Uh, we just received aerial assistance. Uh, they are going to be working with uh, pulling uh, uh, some suppression services out of a reservoir to help uh, put out some of the fire. So we are actively working on the fire. We believe it's around 35 uh, miles of active uh, fire at this time, but uh, slowly but surely we're looking to contain this fire. We just ask for citizens who um, will put out an update later this evening. Um, but if you don't have to be in the area, please stay away from the area. Allow first response to do their work. Uh, Madison County will provide updates as necessary. But again, I want to thank all of our state and local and neighboring jurisdictions for all their assistance in helping us to contain this fire. Are they still? Yeah. Uh, two days ago, they were saying that the fire was probably started as much by a lightning strike sometime in the past. We we believe a few weeks ago. Uh, be a lightning strike, which can sound a little odd, but sometimes those occur where the internal of the tree is struck and it begins to, to heat up. Um, so uh, earlier this week, we were alerted of that. Um, we had about, I think about an acre, a little over an acre um, that a fire line was built around and uh, then that obviously expanded uh, yesterday evening, unfortunately. So that's why the additional resources brought in, but yes, the original the origin of the fire we believe is from a lightning strike. Um, whom, what was the reason that, what caused the flare up yesterday? Let's put it that way. The flare up yesterday, uh, uh, personally uh, unknown, we, we believe that uh, the fire did jump the original containment line. Um, I'm not sure if wind was enough of a factor. There was a little bit of, of a wind yesterday, uh, but what we can confirm is that the fire jumped the original containment line. Um, units that you have up here from different counties? Uh, different counties, I'm going to go off from memory. Uh, uh, obviously, we have Madison County Volunteer Fire Department on scene, our state partners, uh, Department of Forestry. As uh, far as localities, we have multiple uh, representatives of Greene County, uh, Dyke, Standardsville, I believe Ruxville is also on the scene. We had a couple units respond from Little Washington. Uh, we have Reba. We have uh, multiple units from Orange County. Um, and those are the ones that, that I'm primarily tracking it on the scene at this time. I think all in all, roughly, we have a sign-up sheet. I believe it's between 60 to 70 people on the ground, uh, not counting the aerial support that just showed up about a half hour ago. And who, aerial support came from whom? Uh, aerial support, I, I'm unsure. I do know it's a state-requested resource, so I'm sure it's a state agency. BDM, uh, direct uh, report from the governor's offices here to assess the sea because they, they were concerned with six, act, six active fires in the state to see how bad this was and the resource needed. So I do know the state uh, called for that and granted that resource. I can confirm that the uh, aviation equipment came out of room. The, uh, obviously on this side, looking at the mountain, there aren't any houses on the mountain itself, but on the other side, which you're only about 500 feet from the summit and then it pops over the other side, what's on the other side? On the other side is Sphinx Hollow. Uh, there are uh, several homes over there. Uh, I think it's easy to say a half dozen. Um, that is a concern. Uh, earlier this morning, I think fire was uh, no closer than a thousand yards, but we do have active brush trucks over there. I think there's at least four brush truck and crews uh, that are sitting and have been sitting on that site. So the public are aware, but uh, we hope they find their presence reassuring. So we will actively stay on that. Uh, we haven't yet fully discussed our plans for the night, um, but there will be some discussion here in the uh, near future about how we will be actively involved. With that steep terrain, we will not recommend anyone stay up uh, in those higher areas because that's probably some, if not the steepest terrain in Madison County. How are you notifying everybody in the area and also countywide? So naturally, uh, if, uh, through our presence, uh, uh, we've had neighbors and folks inquire. We've had folks that will call in our dispatch center. We've put out the what I still call the reverse 911 system. 
Uh, we put out messaging yesterday, we put out some this morning, and we will release probably around dinner time, we'll release another update so the public know that we're active, we haven't left, what are the conditions and why, so they know there is no fear of, of uh, damage to homes, um, that you know we are actively working. So it is an active scene, um, but we're primarily using our alert system uh, to notify folks that way.